no production, and also these are people that have the, probably the least amount of political power in the city. They don't plan to be here very long, they're moving around, a lot of them are suspicious of government authorities. You know, if you came from China, you're not exactly thinking the government is your friend. I mean, you might, but you also might not. Uh, lying, you know, kind of avoiding government. So the idea that you'd organize and get these street lights fixed or these or better cleaning of the sidewalks and things, it's always been that way. Go back, I mean, I'll show you a photo, I'll show you an image um, in this afternoon's lecture about, you know, hip deep in muck. Uh, on, the, on these very streets. Okay, there's the forward, looking beautiful. Um, but the forward was, and this is one of my favorite images to show. I, somehow I got the idea of taking pictures back in the mid-90s, and I'm really glad I did, because this stuff doesn't last very long at all. Um, I promise you, I've got it right here, yeah. So when I first started doing this tour, the forward, the lower part of it was a church, a Chinese evangelical Christian church. Um, and uh, the rest of it was, you know, the newspaper long gone. The rest of it were garment shops, but they, eventually they closed. But all those upper floors uh, were vacant. So the church had a big sign painted on it. And of course, it's one of the great Jewish landmarks in America. The church had a sign painted on the side of it in Chinese. Do we have anybody who, know, who can read the Chinese characters? Okay, then I can make it up. Jesus is the truth, the light, and the way. Did you know that from, okay. You knew that for real? Yeah. Oh, really? really? Oh. You said who can read. I thought it was in Chinese. Oh, man, I forgot. Uh, you say who can read, you didn't say Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is the truth, the light, and the way in Chinese, which is, you know, in this neighborhood's full of these great, you know, ir ironic or serendipitous juxtapositions, you know, where one group comes in and takes it over and then another group comes along and often they're not aware, you know. I, I wouldn't doubt that the, the people who uh, had that church really knew that they were in this famous Jewish building. They just saw it as a cheap building that they could have their church uh, and, and, and all. Uh, in the middle there, that pillar, that's, uh, remember we saw the Kim Lau Memorial? This is a memorial to Jewish American veterans in World War II. Uh, and we saw the one on the, on the face of the church uh, for members of that congregation. This is Seward Park. Guess whose name I'm going to invoke here? William Seward. 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 Well, Seward, the Seward, right? Yeah. He's governor of New York and then secretary of state under Lincoln. But Jacob Reese, this was all tenement buildings until the 1890s. They were torn down. Now, the group I had in Colorado, I got to take them here and then I got to take them, well, actually Central Park and then here. So they saw the fancy schmancy park up at about 59th Street. Beautiful park, open to the public, but uh, it's way uptown. And Central Park had a whole, like, 50 rules. You couldn't take off your shirt, you couldn't play baseball, you couldn't do pretty much anything but sit and, and think. And it was still a nice place to get out of the, the city. But for working class people, they want a place where they can hang out. They want a place that's right across the street from where they live. And Jacob Reese understood that, so he pioneered not only tenement reform, but also building parks in urban neighborhoods and required them to tear down, you know, seize private property by eminent domain. We're used to that now. It was a very rare thing in those days. And then to demolish um, these tenements and open up the park. This is a real urban reform landmark, like a lot of the things we've seen for the progressive era. All right, anybody have any questions? The, um, the Arabic. It's an Arabic. No, that's Yiddish. that's Yiddish. That's Yiddish. That's its forward in Yiddish. In the upper part. Five hertz. All right. So uh, let's go. I could spend another 20 minutes here, but we both.